What's good YouTube? It's your boy Junski man and let's get right into the news. So it looks like there is a artist out here that's got Mac Miller's name in his mouth man. First of all, all I gotta say is God bless the dead. Next thing I wanna say is RIP to that nigga Gold Link. If y'all don't know who Gold Link is, I got you right now. Now it looks like Gold Link is sitting up here accusing Mac Miller which is deceased, of stealing his, you know, album name or album whatever, bro. Either way, I mean, recently I have been hearing of a lot of artists taking, you know, ideas from other artists and using it as their own and using it to their advantage. But it looks like Gold Link is just sitting here accusing Mac Miller of stealing his ideas, man. So supposedly this man Gold Link had a mixtape called and after that we didn't talk and the project that was taken and made into his own project supposedly and the project that was supposedly taken by Mac Miller was the Divine Feminine. So the reason why Gold Link is sitting here thinking that Mac Miller stole his project or whatever is because they both had a feature that was the same person which was this man Anderson Pack and Anderson Pack was on both projects, which is why Gold Link said that this is evidence of the theft. Pretty sure his name is Anderson Pack or Pac, whatever. I'm pretty sure it's Pack, but supposedly Pack was mad or furious or whatever. So this man goes out and tweets this long ass thing. I'm pretty sure it's a tweet. It has an at, but it might have been an Instagram comment or whatever the hell. But it says at Gold Link. Get ready, cause this is long. I would imagine your weird ass posted up somewhere just like this when you decided to make that disrespectful, narcissistic, jealous, grossly unnecessary post. Why would you do it and I can't even understand? Maybe your belt was wrapped around your goddamn waist too tight or maybe it was the choker cutting the circulation off to the brain but since you felt necessary to bring me up twice and my boy ain't even here to respond, I'ma say it like this. You ain't the first one to make an album inspired by a relationship. You ain't the first one to make a song featuring Anderson Pat. But you are the first to disrespect my friend who is no longer here for absolutely no reason and I can't stand for that. I am a t I am not a t wait, what? <laughs> I am not a tough guy. I'm not about negativity, but this bugged me bad, bro. I've called you and DM'd you and you haven't responded. So since this is what it so this since this is what you like to do in order to get attention, we can do it like this. You are not surprised, huh? Well, I'm in disbelief. If Divine Feminine was such a blueprint of your record, then then tell me where the plaques are and whatever your shit was called. Mac brought out your alright, look. Mac brought out your ass on tour and opened up his fan base to you when you had nothing and this is the type of appreciation you give you should have just been grateful for the hey why ain't you running why well, can't read get out of here <laughs> opportunity whatever issues you had with mac should have been addressed in person and ended there what's the point of bringing this up after his passing and disrespecting his name you really woke up feeling like feeling like that was the move that ain't how you go about promoting whatever you're coming, whatever you got coming. Some things simply have nothing to do with you, but when you have a god, a god complex, I'm sure it's easy to think everything comes from you or was inspired in some way. Whatever it is, I ain't giving it no more energy. I pray you get back to the music and spreading good energy. I'm gonna do the same. Mac Miller forever. Love to his family, and y'all have a blessed one. Now my I know my ass can't read and that was a lot to read but look I'm gonna keep it 100% hot that's not it that's not even where he messed up this is not where he fucked up whatsoever this part what I'm about to read right now is why everybody is irked man why everybody is so mad and wants to like disrespect his bro this is exactly why listen up so Gold Link took to Twitter posted a picture of Mac Miller and commented down below with the caption. I'd be lying if I said I was surprised to hear that you died on this. Not because you were necessarily troubled, but because you were special and because of that you were troubled. At your peak, you were the archetypal rapper all of us wanted to be, in which was independent, but also just a kid with really bright eyes about life. I'll keep it short because I wanted to continue our conversation for when it's time to go, but I think what made you 
and I special is that we weren't always on the best terms. So I didn't always have great things to say about you. When we were on the good the good AM tour, or I don't even know how to say that thing. I've never but um uh, I played you my album and after that we didn't even talk. And you thought it was absolutely incredible. I released it under the Sol Select Selection label and the single for my album was called Unique featuring Anderson Pack. And that was your favorite song at the time. You loved it so much that you made it the entire tour of the party listen to it. And surprised me with a cake after my set. I always thought you drove yourself insane about your music. So much that you would adopt styles as homage to those, who, to those around you that you loved. That's where our problem started. Divine Feminine was an actual blueprint of. And after that we didn't talk. Your single was called Dang. Featuring Anderson Pack, you had the selection support you on the Divine Feminine tour, and when I tried to contact you about anything at all, you never hit me. A close mutual friend ended up just hitting my DJ, saying, "Listen, man, we love Link, but we just had to do what we had to do." And Max said, "If he needs a verse at any time, he got him. We are a family. You could always call me afterwards." We seen each other at Coachella, and you put your head down like an innocent child. But I told you to pick it up, and I hugged you like the brother you are to me. You were the first person brave enough to openly say he's dope, and gave me a platform. That meant more to me than anything else. Three days before you died, I remember pulling up on you at the crib, walking in the house, and seeing Divine Feminine album plaque on the wall. I was so proud of you and what you created for yourself. I am forever grateful for that. Now, one more time, I just want to say I'm sorry for my chopped up reading. I am retarded. I'm stupid. Don't roast me in the comments, man. Don't roast me, man. Look, all I got to say is in life, I feel like if you have an opinion, if you have a story to tell, sometimes you just need to like keep it to yourself, especially on somebody that isn't with us anymore. Someone that meant like the world to so many people that changed so many lives. You can't speak on somebody that isn't here anymore. No matter if it's good, no matter if it's whatever, dude, people will take anything you say and turn it to anything just disrespectful, rude, nasty, all that. So whatever he said, he didn't mean it in a bad way, and I can feel it. I felt the emotions as I was reading it. I felt the goosebumps and everything. But I think people just like, you're talking about somebody that isn't here anymore, and people aren't understanding that some people had experiences with certain people, and you just won't ever know that feeling. Now, look, I'm not agreeing with Golink. I'm not saying he's in the right, wrong, whatever. But, like, you did just say that you were proud of this man, that he put the plaque on his wall, all that. But you're also accusing him of taking your stuff. Like, from what I'm reading, that was supposed to be your dog, your homie. You love that nigga like a brother, my nigga. How are you going to come out here and just, like, bash on his name of somebody, bash on the name of somebody you love, bruh? You're not supposed to do that. That's your brother, right? You just said that was your brother. But you out here accusing this man of taking something that was supposedly the blueprint of what was yours. That doesn't make sense. And I think that's why a lot of people are really mad. But look, man, nobody's perfect. Everybody has their ups, downs, left, rights, everything, bro. Nobody's perfect in this world. People make mistakes. People get judged every day. And this is just probably an L he has to take, bro simple that's the end of the video yo i hope you enjoyed i hope you even got like to this point to this moment in the video and i hope you like the video subscribe to the channel if you're new or if you're not and i'm out i'll catch you on the next one Boom.